<laughs> hey everybody. So let's start with some better energy. Um, <laughs> or any energy at all. I like that we have the like good fellas like prime seats for the front tonight. They put you right in. Um, thank you for staying. <laughs> you have to stay, but thank you for staying. Um, you ever notice that nothing at the bodega ever has a price and you have to ask? <laughs> so like lately instead of asking how much it costs, I go up to the guy with my little Debbies and I say, but at what cost? <laughs> but at what cost? And usually he just gives it to me. <laughs> That's great. He knows I'm going through a lot. We're all going through a lot. Um, I need to stop going to bodegas, though. I need to lose weight. Uh, just in general, I need to lose weight. I mean, look at me tonight. I'm wearing skinny jeans. My body type is the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> what am I even trying to prove here? Um, this is the end of peer pressure. Like, this is the worst case scenario. It's just me thinking that my legs need to be shapely, if nothing else. Um, but actually, I want to lose weight because I want to be healthy, but also I'm getting married in the fall. Woo! You clap louder for that than the guy who said he was two years clean, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm getting married to a nice woman. Um, I want to just like at least be at a level of weight where I look respectable when I dress up. Because right now, when I wear a suit, it weirdly looks like I'm like dressing down, it's just so incongruous. Like just right now in general with my body type, I've got the shaved head, I've got the scruff. When I try to look nice, I look like I'm trying to give a TED talk at the gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> like it's just like, what's happening? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to like have good habits. It's also just like I have a job that keeps me tired all the time. Just like New York is constantly stressful. Like, we're all on the same page, we're stressed. Like, I'm also like a big guy in public space and I've just noticed lately people like give up on even trying to get by me respectfully. <laughs> they just like move me when it's rush hour and I'm just like getting jostled like a statue at an Italian festival. <laughs> it's like Catholics are just gonna lift me up and just like walk me into the um, But yeah, I don't know. Um, New York, I've lived here for five years. I'm hitting my limit. Um, but the thing I think that makes me feel the worst is that I've just been a gentrifier everywhere that I've ever lived, like on a progressively worse scale of just like imperialism. I started in Greenpoint, moved to East Williamsburg. And like you can, you kind of feel it, the displacement, the cultural change. But then last year we moved to Harlem and that's just rough. Because Harlem, it's just like there are murals of Langston Hughes and just like quotes. Just like at last we have a city of our own to take our place as men. Just like James Baldwin on a wall. And then just like me, my fat ass just like dragging a laundry bag. <laughs> like T-shirt that says life is good. <laughs> like, literally my laundry day T-shirt just says life is good. And I don't know how I got it. I think I took it from someone else's laundry. <laughs> That's the best example of white privilege I've ever thought of, is that I have a shirt that says life is good, and I don't even know how I got it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs>